Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be going over the Kurosan Samurai. I know my thoughts and opinions around this mouse pen if I think it's worth picking up over everything. Else. I have the head hurts every time I try to speak to you. God forbid me. First, I wanted to say that Kurosan did send this mouse pad out. That doesn't in any way, shape, or form affect my opinion of this mouse pad. And all these thoughts will be my own true unbiased thoughts. So let's get started. First, I'll start out with a couple of things with this mouse pad. It's using the same design philosophy with the white stitch edges, the outline character, and then the logo in the bottom corner. So when compared to the Ninja, you can see a little bit of visual differences between the two pads because the surface weave is totally different. They're using a knitted surface weave instead of a woven surface weave. Here goes a couple of pictures here on the screen so you can see. You're able to see that it's really like all over the place compared to a standard knitted traditional weave where it's up and down patterns. You can clearly see a pattern in the weave. The Samurai is much more sporadic in its weave styling and its feel kind of resembles that. When I compare it to other mouse pads, I would say the best mouse pad to compare it to surface feel wise is a smooth eSport Tiger EBA or the Spire Loaf. Those are probably the best comparisons for this mouse pad when it comes to the surface feel. This mouse pad does come in a 490 by 420 sizing. Then I don't think they plan on making any squares. It does use a new alpha cell base. This is a alpha cell base with a mid layer and then the surface so it's actually a lot more flexible and softer you're not able you're able to push into the pad a lot more than the kiro sun ninja which was really 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 like practically a hard pad it was very firm this mouse pad has a little bit of give but it is still relatively thin and the give isn't as much as you would think it is and like i said the surface feel is really nice it feels like the esport tiger eba or the spire loke with uh, just a lot smoother of a surface. It has a really unique texture to it that I can't really put my hands on to any other mouse pads. Hello, this is Editing Stubby. Um, just here to say that I forgot to mention the durability of this mouse pad is absolutely incredible. I did the dishes with mine um, and it had absolutely no effect on surface glide. There is a small XY difference when you open it up out the box, but it goes away pretty fast. And uh, yeah, no, just good dish rag great mouse pad so next we're going to compare it to a couple of skate options so here we have the esport tiger yanzi here we have the tiger ice v2 these are unreleased artisan dots but these are the release candidates so these are more likely to come out than the other artisan dots i've been trying out and then here we have jades i wouldn't really pair slow skates with this mouse pad strictly just because slower skates on a slower mouse pad just gives kind of like a really not fun feeling for me personally. I don't like the feeling of super high static, super high dynamic. I want at least high static, high dynamic on the pad with low static and low dynamic with skates. Which is why I pair faster skates with slower pads and slower skates with faster pads. I can kind of combat the two and find a middle ground that works for me. So when compared with the Yanzi dots, Yanzi dots are pretty similar to Obsidian's except they have a lot more speed to them. When you're doing just a basic push test with your hand, you see that the stopping power is relatively good. Same thing with the Tiger Ice V2s in this configuration. In this configuration, I am using six of the smaller dots, two medium-sized dots, and then two smaller dots at the top. That's because Esport Tiger is really weird with their dots. I, I don't know why they decided, hey, let's just not give the um, all the same sizing, but hopefully that can get fixed soon. With Tiger Ice V2, you're able to see that the stopping power is a little bit less than Yanzi, but they're relatively the same. That's just mainly because the, these are essentially the, the same skates. These are just meant to be better on glass. So in turn, they're similar to obsidians in most ways. Next, we're comparing to the artisan dots. These aren't dots that, have, that I have a good frame of reference for, but these are definitely on the slower side. You get a lot more stopping power, a lot more, more friction. And the dynamic glide is really nice and smooth. And I wouldn't say it's a slow glide at all. You have a lot of stopping power with a pretty low dynamic friction that makes it feel a really quick with uh, dynamic movement. So if, like, let's say I'm going to track an enemy. I don't feel any hesitation when I'm making these kind of movements on any of the e skates. But if I want to do micro adjustments, I have a lot of stopping power. And then finally onto the jades. These are a brand new set of jades on the super light too. With the jades, you see you get a little bit less give, which is why I just prefer jades on a lot of mice. They're a little bit quicker. And the same thing, the dynamic motion is really smooth. You get a really nice, consistent kind of quick glide but I wouldn't call this a control pad. It's definitely a balanced pad over through and through. It is, it is very, very, very balanced. And I would pretty much describe this as the balanced pad to beat because I don't feel it. I haven't tried a mouse pad that feels like this one-to-one -one yet. And it's just really big props to Kyosun because I've never really seen anything done like this 
to this date. Just a super balanced, unique weave, good alpha cell, no stickiness because of alpha cell. I just have no complaints with the mouse pad so far. So next we're gonna go into some comparisons here. Here we're gonna use Jade's as the benchmark. This is kind of our, my benchmark skate. These are what I use for just about everything. We're going to use, just do quick dynamic motions here. Small circles will give me enough uh, dynamic movement. So there's always motion in the mouse, but with me changing directions constantly, you can feel a lot of static motion. The 1099 is always gonna be significantly slower. It is a very slow mouse pad, even with Jade's on it. I would not really recommend this as a fair comparison. But if you're looking at getting either one of these, 799, very, very, very slow, very controlled mouse pad, even with more controlled skates, even with faster skates, this is the mouse pad to beat when it comes to control mouse pads. And I feel like the Samurai is the mouse pad to beat when it, when it comes to balanced mouse pads. Next, I'm gonna compare it to pretty much, it's almost a direct competitor. I, I would believe so. This is the Padsmith Crucible. I do have a review coming out this soon, but people wanted to see the Samurai first and then the Type 99 first and the K83 first. So this has kind of been pushed back behind a whole bunch of other pads. The Padsmith Crucible does have a very similar amount of give to the to the surface feel. They are both using an alpha cell base, so I feel like this is a direct competitor. The the surface feel on these on the Padsmith Empress is a lot more textured. If, if you take your finger and stroke up and down, you can feel these tiny ridges in the entire pad. That's because they use this kind of interesting weave technology where they have like a large piece and then a bunch of small pieces that's connected by, by large pieces. That gives the pad a unique surface look and a unique surface feel. And I can definitely feel those little ridges when moving the mouse gate on it. Like I said, quick dynamic circles. I can definitely feel those, those, those little ridges. But when, but when paired with pad skates, you don't feel those ridges as much and you come over to the Samurai and you just get absolutely no texture on the pad at all. But even with pad skates, I do feel a lot more texture on the mouse pad. And it's not something I can really easily say that like you're not gonna feel if you're comparing these two mouse pads head on. The Samurai is smoother. I do feel like the dynamic motion on the Crucible is a lot quicker. The static is a lot quicker and you get a lot quicker of a glide. But I would say that the Crucible is on the slower end of mouse pads, or is on the slower end of speed pads. Borderline a balanced mouse pad, and I wouldn't really call this a quick mouse pad if that makes sense. But if you're comparing the two directly, like I said, the Crucible has a lot more of a textured feeling on dot skates, a bit smoother on pad skates, but the texture is still there and you're not going to forget the textures there compared to the Samurai, which is smooth all across the board, even though the weave looks like it should have little ridges in the skate feeling. Next, we're going to compare it to its, um, pretty much it's the, the reason a mouse pad exists. This is the Artisan Zero Soft. The Zero Soft is known for being a very balanced mouse pad. And this is no exception, but as you can see, the static motion on the Zero is a lot less. The dynamic is a little bit higher, which is kind of the opposite when it comes to the Samurai, where the static is where, where the static is a bit lower and the dynamic is a bit higher, which makes this feel a little bit slicker. But when comparing the two side by side, I would say they pair very similarly to each other, which makes it very which makes this a very easy comparison. If you have an Artisan Zero mid, it will probably feel very similar to the Samurai. There's a really nice balanced pad. And that's where the zero stitch is just that nice balance where I don't really feel like I'm being held back in my dynamic or static movements, which is why this is kind of like the go-to mouse pad for CSGO pros, for Valorant pros, for Overwatch pros, for pretty much a pro in any game. They are like, the, the, the Artisan Zero is the mouse pad. When you do a quick push test, you can see, like I said, the static on the, the, the static friction on the Kuro Sun Ninja is a lot higher. When you do the same push test on the zero, you see it's a lot quicker. And that's because, like I said, low static, high dynamic, high static, low dynamic, which makes these feel similar in dynamic motion, but they don't feel one-to-one -one even in, in the slightest. The, the zero just has a lot more give when you're doing side-to-side -side motions and a lot more tug when you're doing dynamic circles. This has a lot less give when you're doing the, these motions and then less tug. This has a lot more give when you're doing this. So, and then a lot less friction when you're doing dynamic motion. All right, and then last, I just wanna go over three mouse pads with this one pad. That's because the Infinity Mice Ruin, I just wanna kind of showcase it. It is a very good mouse pad, but I feel like it's really close to the Neptune when it comes to the surface feel with a high static, low dynamic, which is very similar to the uh, the, Kiro Sun Nin the Kiro Sun Samurai. It is very high in static. The Neptune does have a lot less give, and you can see it's much quicker of a mouse pad. Same thing with the Infinity Mice Ruin. This is the Speed V2. 
it, it is a lot quicker even with jades. But the, that, but the static friction is why I pull these two out. The comparison between these two statically, this feels very similar to the Samurai where you get a lot of, of tug doing quick left and right motions. And, and let's say you want stopping power, you get a lot of stopping power in doing this. And then the dynamic circles, the Samurai feels significantly slower than the Neptune. The Neptune has a very quick surface weave and it's a very quick pad overall. But the static friction is what makes it feel a little bit slower than what it actually is. I would compare this to a Raiden Soft if the Raiden Soft had a higher static friction. That's kind of where I would compare the Neptune and Ruin. But comparing just the Ninja to the Neptune, I would say they, they feel relatively similar on dot skates and on pad skates. They both feel really smooth. I don't feel any interruptions in the skates. I don't feel any patterns or anything. And like I said, the, dyna the dynamic motion is a lot uh, quicker on the Neptune Pro than it is on the... Samurai, but the static feels relatively similar. It's just a surface material and surface and the weave thickness that makes this mouth pad feel significantly quicker than the Samurai. But yeah, hopefully that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do have a lot of stuff coming up in the future. Like I said, we have the Ruin to go over. We have the Crucible to go over. Alongside, we have more keyboard reviews than I could ever imagine. This is the new fee Halo 75. We also have a keyboard coming that's supposedly better than the Wooting with true AK polling and scanning. So I'm actually really hyped to receive that and I'll be posting information on Twitter when I do get it. So make sure you go follow my Twitter at StubbyFPS. Make sure you do leave a comment if you have any questions about the Samurai or anything else regarding that I've covered on my channel. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't show me all the soft love I'm the only one that's rough around it If I'm too stuck up on my last, I'll let you know about it Not gonna let you leave If I do this last time I'm trying to be what you need Not in your past time